hope you're all having a great day. So today I will be playing the Warner family for you guys. And let me just explain some things before we get started because otherwise it might be a little bit confusing. So we started off, we're gonna start this episode off on Halloween. As you can see right now, it is not Halloween. Halloween is long gone, it was Tuesday. I played up until Saturday off screen just because I wanted to advance the storyline a little bit. We were very low on simoleons. We're gonna need simoleons to kind of advance along like I would like to. So today is Talk Like a Pirate Day, but you are about to see Halloween from episode five. I just didn't have enough room in my editing to include it. So we'll be jumping a bit into the future after Halloween. Hope you guys understand. Thanks. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Yay, it's officially Halloween, which is super exciting. Marissa, I want you to kick things off for the kids before you go have spaghetti for breakfast, which is, I don't even want to get into. Wear a costume, please. That would be cute, right? Oh, look at you and your like little Princess Leia hair. How cute. Princess Leia is gonna go do some cleaning around the house because that's what Princess Leia does. She's adding that to the dryer. Great. Clean the lint tray so that there's no fires. And dry the laundry. Zachary's miserable. Go feed your child, I guess. Uh, give him some food. Scott, now that you're up, go for a jog. Just get you out of the house. Zachary, I'm just- I just said give food. Like, I didn't pick a specific food, so this could go horribly wrong. But it's Halloween, so I'll let it slide if it is sugar. Oh no, and this one is miserable and disgusting. You're gonna need to give, uh, oh, Scott's back. He never is out for too long. And that's broken. Ah, okay. Hire a repair service, please. Zachary's in a great mood. What, did, what is he even eating? Cereal, oh yikes. Scott, you need to meet with a prospective client. Uh, why don't you give your kid a bath, though, before you go anywhere, and I believe it's, yeah, it's Elliot that needs a bath, desperately. Ooh, Zachary, since you're just standing here, let's change you into your costume. Uh, be a treefer, because apparently you can only be, like, Christmas. Now that's an interesting color for a Christmas tree. Scott's still giving Elliot a bath. The bathtub is disgusting. Elliot, it's your turn to ch uh, change into a costume. Let's see if we can match your brother. Do I make him a tree for two or- Ooh, Elliot the elf. Sounds like that could be a good Christmas movie. Oh, look at him. It's Elliot, it's Elliot the elf. And then Scott still has yet to change. Ooh, okay. Marissa's just teaching him some needs. I guess, really, Halloween is kind of boring when you have kids, because for some reason, your own kids can't go trick-or-treating, but your toddlers, or I mean, like, I mean, other sims can go trick-or-treating to your house. So I guess that's honestly what they're just waiting for, is for the trick-or-treaters to show up. At least they decorated. Although they didn't decorate fully, we don't have, like, the, like, house lights, but we don't have a holiday box either, so there's that. And Scott, you need to attend a deposition. So you know what? Before you even before you even get dressed for Halloween, go attend your deposition first. Shabini, Jabez. Ooh. Uh -huh. He already got money for it. Even though he didn't attend it yet. I'm not complaining. If the money's coming, the money's coming. We taught our one kid how to uh well needs flashcards. Elliot the elf is running. Oh, they're hugging. Uh Marissa. What can we do with two toddlers who, uh, it's Halloween? Well, first, we can apply the mite treatment, bond with the bees, and sell the honey. <laughs> That's the first thing we can do, and I think the second thing we can do is rake the leaves in the front yard, or the backyard, doesn't really matter, and maybe take a cute picture of the toddlers in their Halloween costumes to commemorate this beautiful moment, you know? And all she did was apply the mite treatment. I don't know why she, the like stuff doesn't queue up. This pile is not big enough for the kids to do anything in yet, so I'm just gonna let them still continue to talk away. I also need to get her to sign up for a new gig before I forget. 
Yes, play in. Play in. Come on out, kiddos. The kiddos are gonna come out and play in the leaves. Oh, and it's next to like a cute fall tree. Yes. Good spot. Oh my god, toddlers walk so slow. Get your camera. Get your camera ready. Uh, take some photos. Oh, only one at a time? I mean, that's not much of a photo if you ask me. It's it's just a, the back of a child with a tree <laughs> in a tree for a costume playing in a leaf pile. But it's still cute. So we'll take some. You know, yeah, we'll just take small photos. Now it's your turn to play in the leaf pile. Take a photo. Oh, good. And he's still, like, kind of standing nearby. Oh, see, that's what I was going for was more something like that. I, I mean, it's not the greatest. It's a little far, but it's it's good enough, right? Although the tree fur looks a little bit miserable. We took some cute Halloween photos. Scott is back from his deposition. He needs to go to the bathroom. Go, go, go. Scott, maybe you can also set up some late or early dinner. So what can we, let's do peas this time. Switch it up and give them some peas. Their Halloween went great because all they had to do was dress up. Oh, we have a trick-or-treater. Okay. It's Boba Fett. Oh, good. We're trick- uh, we're Princess Leia, so this works. Thank you for coming, Boba Fett. Oh, it's Malcolm Landgrab. Yeah, we'll give you a treat since you're our first- first one. And then, Marissa, why don't you whip up some dinner if you can? Maybe try some fish and chips tonight. Scott is not having a fun time, but he's hungry, so maybe that'll put him in a better mood. We're getting all the Star Wars characters. I bet it's because she's Princess Leia. And dinner's done. But your child needs to be let out. Can you let him out first? Why can I never let these kids out of the high chair? Pick him up and put Zachary down here, please. And then grab a serving. Uh, and now he's miserable. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Pick up. Don't you put him in that high chair. Pick up Elliot. And put Elliot down here. These kids are just putting themselves to sleep anymore. They're not getting read. <laughs> oh, we have another trick-or-treater. Hi there. Can I not? Have I left you waiting? Yeah, you were waiting too long. Sorry. Elliot, it's time for you to go to bed, please. It, I mean, it's a bit early. But they're, they're slowly getting closer to their scheduled sleep time so i'm not i'm not upset <laughs> but scott is getting some stuff done he seems to be in a like despite always having low fun because of his job he seems to be doing better at handling his stress of course max villarreal would be dressed like this let's give him a trick and then maybe we can quickly change scott into a costume so that he has a good halloween okay i'm gonna change you into your costume maybe that'll make you feel better why don't you become darth vader and then add the laundry to the laundry machine, please. And there you go. You've had an excellent Halloween. Except for the fact that you've had no spooky interactions. That's okay. You had a good Halloween with your kids. For as much as you even spent time with them. She's just given up. She's like, you know what, maybe... Ooh, watch a scary movie. Maybe that'll count. What about Sims of the Dead? Or M Moonlight Massacre 3? Watch that. Oh, and they can, like, cuddle and stuff on the couch. Sorry, kids, we're not taking any more trick-or-treaters. She's not wearing her costume anymore. I'm just looking for the cute, like, couch interactions. Oh, and he had a nightmare. Ay ay ay. Okay. Finally, the parents get some alone time. Oh, Princess Leia. Who's he crying to, Scott? Scott, you have to go be a parent. Sorry. Like, why are you awake? But I will comfort you because you're my son and you had a nightmare and it's gonna be okay. He should not be seeing this movie. Scott, can you put him back to bed, please? Oh my goodness, he's trying to watch the movie. No, 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 Elliot. No, Elliot, no. This is not a toddler-friendly movie. He's gonna be scared of bunnies for the rest of his life. Oh my goodness. Thank God Scott took him away at that moment. So it is... Saturday! Scott's feeling flirty on this beautiful Saturday afternoon, about to go eat some fish and chips. Marissa is feeling playful, eating her fish and chips. And the twins are, well, doing their twin thing. 
It's a rainy fall day. We are really advancing along here with our simoleons. We have 13,761 simoleons. All Elliot wants to do is hang out with Marissa, apparently, because that's all he's thinking about. Zachary's thinking about Scott. That's kind of cute. But we are going to need a lot of money in order to get them to move into the house that I believe I showed you guys in episode 5. So, I think we need, I have my little sticky note here, we have just over the amount that we're going to need, I think, to get the house if we sell everything from this house. Although I want to take some of the pictures, obviously, that Marissa took with us because we need her photography in our lives. So let me double check now that we're into Saturday. All right, so this is the house. It is now 110,654 simoleons. If we click on move, and we sell the furniture, we are still 74,102 simoleons short. Yikes, okay. I may have gone a bit overboard <laughs> with the house, but I think that's gonna be like their dream home, you know? So let's cancel this move, we're not moving. So ultimately what we're doing is getting as much money as we can, all the different ways that we can, that still pertain to this family. Obviously it's the weekend, it's a bit harder to make some cash, but Marissa does have a gig that she can do. She's doing an ad campaign for a local pool venue, so we will have to go to Windenburg to do that. It's rainy in uh, Willow Creek, but we still have plenty of time of the day and Scott's home. So why don't we do that while Scott is home with the kids? Marissa, let's travel to the pool and we just need to take photos of Simpson Swimmer. I love you, Elliot, but mommy needs to go to work. It's already two o'clock and we're gonna be losing daylight here. This one should hopefully have really good payout. Okay, I have not been to this public pool in a very long time. I'm just gonna have Marissa creepily stake out the place by sitting down. I am itching to get this family, like, moving along. Oh good, we have one Sim here, swimming along, having her midday swim. Look at how cute Marissa's swimsuit is. She's getting in the pool just to introduce herself to this lady so that she could take a picture of this lady. That's incredible. Although it doesn't look like she's wearing a top right now, the way she is. Freelancer, you're in your swimwear, so really I just need you to come here and we'll just take a picture of this lady. So stop talking to this lady and get her picture. Place in the world. I don't care where you place it, but maybe preferably by the pool somewhere. Oh look, here's this other lady. Francine. Looks like a nice woman. Okay, she's placing it there. Fine. Okay, but it is facing like kind of by the pool. Alrighty. Let's take a picture of Tatiana Nunez. I love Marissa's bathing suit. I'm happy she kind of pulled it out. I love the pattern. Is this lady gonna come out of the pool though? That's the question. Lady, we need ya. She's busy talking. Tatiana, get your butt over here, Tatiana. I don't know why it's always so difficult. Here she comes, okay. Don't go to the bathroom, Marissa. Hold it in, hold it in, cause Tatiana's coming. Take a picture of Tatiana Nunez, please. We called you over so we could take your photo, please. Or are you just gonna stand there? Oh my god, this old lady is just talking to- th Now it's a whole group ordeal. Hello, people. I'm trying to take a photo here. How about you, Alonzo? How about, like, what do I- I need to just take a photo. Okay. Same thing that I normally do. I don't have to- Guess I have to- Oh, wait, me matey, all these people. Maybe I can get a cool group shot. I don't know. He's not even in swimwear. I don't- what- what is this? You just go away. You're not in this group photo. We're gonna have these old ladies hanging out with this dude. Take a photo. Francine, Alonzo, and Tatiana. They're all here. It can't be that hard, can it? Okay, she's ready. Yay! Okay, it only took- whoa, they've all got piercings. <laughs> okay, they're not standing in the order I was hoping they would. I was hoping he'd be in the middle. But that's fine. Uh, let- yep, they look like they're having fun by the pool. We're all having a blast by the pool. Fashion. Fashion by the pool. Alright, we are home. Scott's watching TV and not the toddlers. What else is new? And our dryer's broken. What else is new? Uh, we need our handy dandy wall to check out these photos. 
you know what fashion by the pool is cute so let's submit for clients approval it's way past their bedtime okay the repair lady's here all right so before we know it it'll be sunday and then work week for scott oh no elliot's awake and it's you are not- no, just go back to sleep, please. Please. Just give us this one night. Scott's awake. But he has to be. No, it's Sunday. He doesn't have to be. I don't know why he's awake either. But I won't question it anymore. <laughs> we'll just- we'll let things be. If they're the adults. If they're the kids, you're going back to sleep. If it was 3am, it's a different story. 5.30, adults usually wake up at this time. Sometimes. I don't know. I can't speak for all adults. And the other one's awake. Oh my good lord. Okay. Why are you awake? Just to watch him. Go to sleep. It's too early for you. Search the pockets. Do the laundry. Another quick easy way to get cash. These like invisible garbage men haven't come yet either to collect the trash. Okay, you found $23 and a goldfish. What on earth? And they're having flirty heart cookies for breakfast. You guys, this is no way to keep in shape by eating cookies for breakfast every day. How many flirty heart cookies do we have left? I feel like that was forever ago that she made these. Two left, I'm getting rid of them. <laughs> we don't need flirty heart cookies anymore. Is, are they gonna have a moment? Wow. They had such a moment that Marissa went through the stove. Does he have to do anything for work? Oh, yes, but the kiddos are awake. So let's get moving with them. Elliot can have some applesauce. Zachary can have some applesauce. Uh, Scott, we will take you to the library today so we can advance your skills. Where are you going with the child? Oh, he came all the way into here because he had a nightmare. Okay, that's fair. Once this kid gets down in his height chair, Scott, we are going to go off and get things done as soon as humanly possible and i feel so bad scott has not had a club outing in like ages oh elliot you messed up uh-uh oh he's being told off twice go parenthood <laughs> we are here bright and early at the library and we are going to get that research and debate skill up we are gonna get his logic skill up at the same time hopefully it counts for both i don't know and then we'll have to find a random person in the library to offer legal representation to. And hopefully not get rejected. We're friends with a librarian. Kind of. He like introduced himself to us last time, but I guess that didn't stick. So he's making me a liar, but that's okay. Uh, maybe we'll offer him legal representation, you know, in case the library ever gets into any trouble. Since Scott's always there anyway. Look at him. He hates this job so much. And he wants to buy an object worth a thousand dollars. Can we hold off maybe until you uh, get a house that fits your family? Gonna speed through the rest of his researching. Okay, he reached logic level three. Didn't seem to get his research and debate skill up though. So let's, where is it? Research methodologies, that should help. And we need to offer him representation okay we're offering him legal representation hopefully it goes well did he accept no no he did not so many children come to this library it warms my heart that children still read Ooh, best sterling would be a good person to offer legal representation to all right we're gonna offer it to Bess while we're doing our research yeah, take a seat, Bess. We got a lot to chat about. Maybe just uh, talk about the cold temperature. Where are you going? Brighten her day. We gotta maybe butter her up before we offer anything, you know? Tell an insider story. He really wanted to do that earlier. Ask about her career, you know, talk her up. Butter her up. Get to know her. All for legal representation. Let's see how that goes. Aha! New client obtained! Yay! But he needs to get more. Okay, so Bess agreed. Clara Bjergsen we can try. We're friends with his, uh, her husband, so we could try that. As long as we get, um, these guys done, I don't know that the daily task matters so much. <gasps> Is that Bjorn? Bjorn. Bjorn. What's up? Do you need some legal representation? I feel like Scott's the kind of guy who would offer it to his friends. Two bros just, uh, helping each other out. 
great. See, that was good. Although it still says that he just started, so maybe he's going to need way more than just two. Just do your research, Scott. We have Bjorn and we have Bess. We'll get more for you in the future. Um, for now, two is good to start out with. We're almost there, uh, getting his skill up so that we can get those promotion tasks done. He's also just chit-chatting to Bjorn while Bjorn plays chess by himself. Just like, dude, I really miss getting together. We have to get together soon. Like, I'm going crazy with these toddlers. But if we can get him to, like, promotion status by tomorrow, he'll make even more money and advance even more. He's on level 6 of the law career already. I think he started out from the beginning of the law career too, which is pretty great that we're already at, like, level 6. I think that's awesome. And look at how close he is. So if we can just get him, we can make it home for dinner. Great, we made it to the skill level. Time to go home, Scott. We are home. It's dinner time, but it looks like everybody's just kind of doing their own thing. Is this broken again? Oh no, it's just smelly plates. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Ooh, she's in her... Is that her cold weather outfit? I think so. The kids are already asleep. It's kind of early, but... Is what it is. Scott's tense. What else is new? Why don't you help your wife out, though? She's doing a lot. Taking out the trash. Clean queen, as always. And hopefully we'll get a bit of money from her gig. Hopefully that'll get us up to 14000 We'll get Scott going into work tomorrow. Maybe he can offer legal representation to Marissa. You know, she is her own boss. So, you know, if she ever needs it, I guarantee you she wouldn't say no. If she says no, I'd be shocked. Because that's just mean. <laughs> wow, she has a pristine reputation. Is that like the highest you can go? Oh no. She's got, like, one more level to go for her reputation. That's so cool. And it's about 8 o'clock at night for them, so let's... I'm scared to woohoo, because they are not ready for a third child, but let's just go to sleep. And eventually, we will feel safe enough to woohoo again in this family. Just no more twins. His fun is horrible. Maybe I'll get him to watch some late night TV, and he's hungry. So I gotta give the guy, you know, he was out of the library all day. I have to give him that. He's watching the Weather Channel. Okay. Whatever increases your fun, Scott. Whatever does it. And this is broken again. Oh, the sim gods above me are testing this family out. That is for sure. I did some math, and I can't tell you which one is right. But we either need about 22,777 simoleons to be specific, or 32,777 simoleons, or just a bit above one of those to buy this house when we sell with the furniture and stuff. Poor Scott. He's always going through it. His, his sleeve is going through the plate. That's how much he's always going through it. Alright, no more weather channel. It's time for bed. It is 4 a.m. and Marissa is starving. Uh, I don't know how early the repair people will come, but we'll call them. We'll get some leftovers from the fridge. Well, we'll clean out the spoiled food first so that we don't accidentally end up eating it. Marissa's like the get stuff done person in this house. Scott, too, sometimes. Like, if he's up, he'll, like, do some stuff to help them get things done. But I feel like Marissa does some of the bulk work. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Oh, and the kiddos are up. Uh, why don't we go back to sleep? Please. Please go back to sleep. It'll just make my life so much easier for a few hours. Okay, repair lady's here, so it wasn't too early to call her. Her needs are looking great. Why don't we prepare the kiddos some food? Get Elliot stew yogurt. And Zachary can have some yogurt as well. This way, we're ahead of the game. It's almost 6 o'clock. They're both going to have to get up at the same time anyway. Fantastic. Elliot is awake. So, uh, put down... Oh, she's getting him. Oh, she was. Okay. She's getting Elliot first. Scott is somewhere. Oh, he's giving... <gasps> Scott, yes. Stepping up in the parenting world. Yes, yes, yes. The mail has been delivered, and we have, oh no, about 600-something simoleons. And... Okay. Yeah, we spend a lot of money on power in this house. Do we- we have auto lights on, though. 
All right, it's fine. Marissa's stuff should have come in the mail anyway with the bills. Pay the bills, because we can afford to. This family just struggles so much. I really hope that they... Oh, and he's busting, but he's off to work. How's Scott doing at work? Miserable, but he's getting into the good range. That's good. So maybe if not today, tomorrow, he will get his promotion. Oh, Summer's here. Oh, and now Elliot's making a mess. That's no way to greet Summer, Elliot. We don't greet her to like, uh, uh. I don't, I don't even know what approach. We're doing the strict approach today, apparently. Marcus Flex is also here. Why are all my friends visiting me all of a sudden? Sure. So, Marcus is doing our laundry for us, apparently. But Marissa's out here chit-chatting away to Summer. You know, catching up. They haven't talked to each other in a while because it's just been so crazy. The last time she saw Summer really was like the kid's birthday. And Summer is actually letting Marissa know that there is a photo studio she came across in the neighboring town of Newcrest and wants Marissa to go check it out because she knows that Marissa's lifelong dream is to own her own studio. She sees how hard that Marissa works doing everything out of her house, going to clients like houses, you know, like all that stuff. So Summer's like, I can take you there, I know where it is, but Marissa's like, oh, but I have like Mark is here as well, and the twins, and she's like, bring them. Let's all go check out this photo studio. So they've shown up, and Marissa is kind of shocked. She's shocked in a good way. I shouldn't, like, obviously it's a very shocking appearance, but Marissa's like, oh my god, wait, this place would be perfect. It's small enough, but big enough for me to get started. Has a bit of a leaky roof situation, has some cobwebs and vines, but it's nothing that, like, I can't fix and you know like I can turn this into something great thank you so much and like Marcus is like yo I just went inside I checked it out Marissa is obviously very grateful that Summer sent her here so I think Marissa is thinking I need to get this place how do I get this place and Marcus is like oh well the guys at the gym aka the politicians that go to the gym all the time are constantly talking about how you have to go through politicians that like run Newcrest to let them know that you're interested in this building and now she's going inside to check it out for herself uh there's like a kitchen area over here uh like a like a garbage chute we've got like a desk area let's see what else we have we have like this little chest that was left behind some camera equipment that was left behind so this was clearly a rundown abandoned photo studio it's got like everything she would need but it has a lot of potential, and oh my god, the, the twins are talking to these random strangers. That's so bad. You don't- <laughs> Marissa looks so happy, but she's like, guys, thank you so much for coming with me. I think that will also come into play with them needing to buy a house desperately for their kids. So Marissa's gonna go home. The twins are starting to get restless, so it's probably for the best. Oh, and Scott's home from work. So we are in 14,000 now, which is fantabulous. So I think I'm gonna leave this part here. It's definitely a very tough situation for these guys. They are torn between their dreams and their reality. Please make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more fun Let's Plays and videos as well. And I will see you guys later.